gosh, OP loot, no way! Oh my gosh, look at that, fully lit portal, no way! An ender portal! I searched the web for the funniest fake Minecraft speedruns. And some of these speedruns are so fake, it's hilarious. So here are the funniest fake Minecraft speedruns. Our first speedrun begins, and we can see him loading into his world. And once he loads in, we notice something suspicious right off the bat. Because our speedrunner breaks a block and finds a chest with full netherite armor. And he even gets an elytra. He then goes to another block and begins to break that as well. Which leads him to a chest which only gives him a single eye of ender. And we understand why when he needs to place only one in the end portal. These speedrunners will never learn. Once in the end, our speedrunner attempts to use fireworks to travel, but fails terribly. And ends up being super bad in the end that he literally dies in the speedrunner. That's right, this guy cheated and literally still did not even finish the speedrun. That was hilarious! This next speedrun starts and we immediately notice something interesting. The speedrunner already has a world called Fake Minecraft Speedrun before he loads in. He's definitely not off to a good start. When he joins the world, everything seems to be normal at first, as our speedrunner starts to run around. But then he notices a random chest in the distance, which you guessed it, has some of the most overpowered loot that I've ever seen. The speedrunner takes the loot from the chest and begins to organize it in his inventory. And after that, he runs even farther to find random diamond blocks in the side of a cliff. And when he breaks them, he is led to a completely random room, which just so happens to have an end portal inside. And as soon as he gets into the end, our speedrunner changes his game mode to creative. Now our speedrunner is literally flying with his netherite sword and breaking all of the crystals. And after he successfully manages to break all of them, he kills the dragon and ends off the rest of his speedrun. This guy was definitely cheating. Our next speedrunner contains our first mobile speedrun of the day. And he also conveniently includes a timer in the top left corner, so we can see if he cuts the video. Our speedrunner makes his way into water and into a nearby village, which isn't too suspicious. And he goes to loot houses to try to find beds and maybe loot from some other chests. And when he finally reaches this house, he is greeted with some pretty overpowered loot. And this is starting to get a bit too suspicious. After putting on some armor and equipping his bow, the speedrunner exits his village just to find an end portal sitting on the grass. And on top of that, the end portal is already filled in with full eyes of ender. Our speedrunner then enters the end and starts to shoot the dragon with his incredibly overpowered bow. And after finally killing the ender dragon, he is at a miraculous time of under 4 minutes, which would literally be a world record if he wasn't cheating. The next speedrun starts with our speedrunner literally facing straight up. He then turns around and finds a dirt path that leads directly to a village. This is getting weird. After a while, the speedrunner types in chat that he's feeling lucky, and he then proceeds to dig down at a random hole, which just so happens to drop him into water, and next to him is a fully lit nether portal. And when he spawns into the nether, he spawns directly into a fortress. I can't make this up. Once he gets to the fortress, our speedrunner then informs us that he has to restart his computer. Uh, okay. And when the video returns, he's in creative mode, no blazes are left, and there's 11 blaze rods sitting in front of him. And after this, the speedrunner literally forgets to cut the video because we can clearly see him teleport to a bastion. Moving forward in the run, he gathers his ender pearls from the bastion and makes his way back into the overworld. But when he spawns in, he's having a bit of trouble moving around. So he changes game mode to creative, locates a strong hold, changes his game mode back to spectator, and flies straight to the end portal. Will that all happen quite quickly? Take a guess. How do you think he will kill the ender dragon? A. Use beds. B. Use a bow. Or C. Set up a completely useless TNT and lava trap that doesn't even work and proceed to blow himself up.
Yeah, this speed run is over. Our next run starts off, and the first thing to notice is the extremely wide FOV used in the speed run, which honestly seems to be a very smart strategy. And the speed run starts off normally with our speedrunner starting to gather wood to go ahead and make some necessary tools. Wait, maybe I talked too soon. What is that random emerald box doing in the distance? Okay, this has gotta be one of the funniest things I've seen in a speed run. Somehow this random pig just gave him a bunch of completely overpowered gear which he uses. Our speedrunner then makes his way over to another very strange looking statue in the distance. And like the first one, this is also fake as it ends up being a giant ruined portal. Accompanied by a random emerald tree which is obviously not a real thing in Minecraft. After harvesting the tree, the speedrunner also finds a chest right underneath it and this chest contains a netherite sword and a bunch of TNT for the speedrunner to use later as well as a bunch of obsidian to conveniently finish the giant ruin portal that is definitely not real. Once he fills in the nether portal, our speedrunner makes his way over to the nether and straight away finds a bunch of gold in a random wall in the nether. He also finds a strange box that just so happens to contain a piglin for him to trade with. And what do you know, this piglin just so happens to drop full stacks of ender pearls. So now it's time for our speedrunner to make his way back over into the overworld. And once he spawns into it, our speedrunner makes his search to try to find the stronghold. But to nobody's surprise, he decides to take matters into his own hands by building it out all in the open by himself. And once he gets into the end, all our speedrunner has to do is somehow die on his own to finish off the speedrun. While fake, this was honestly hilarious and I still don't know how the dragon was killed. Hell, how many fake things you can spot in this next speedrun? The run begins and immediately our speedrunner breaks down into this incredibly strange room, which contains a bunch of animals, emeralds, and gold, as well as a chest with basically everything that you need for a speedrun. The speedrunner then goes ahead and attempts to build an end portal, but fails miserably. So instead, he just cuts the video himself and teleports straight into the end. Once our speedrunner is in the end, he breaks his way out and begins his search for the dragon, which doesn't take too long as he is in plain sight. But wait, the speedrunner actually manages to die in the end, even with all all of his overpowered gear. Honestly, he kind of deserves it for all of the fake things he did in the speedrun. This next speedrun wastes zero time in revealing that the speedrun is fake because the speedrunner literally starts off the video by spawning directly into a village. And what do you know? The first chest that he opens is completely 100% fake. I can't take this anymore. The speedrunner exits the first house of the village and out to a random hole that he finds in the ground. And after digging down, we see that this exact same path just so happens happens to lead directly to a pre-lit end portal. These speedrunners never learn. The speedrunners enter the end to a perfectly built staircase waiting for him. And somehow the speedrunner also has fly on, so he literally just flies around the end to try to break all of the end crystals. After successfully breaking all of them, he moves his focus over to the ender dragon himself. She has a very easy time killing after spawning in beds from creative mode and destroying the dragon. And after that, he simply jumps in and finishes the speedrun. Well, hilarious, this was clearly fake.